Welcome back to another vintage story tutorial. This tutorial is to give you some tips on how to cope with the cold. Now, first of all, do have a look at my clothes. You will see that I am wearing some fairly snazzy boots. You will see that I'm wearing a scarf and the red thing around my neck is a cowl. So, how do you sort out what your temperature is and what you're wearing you press C and you will see on here that your body temperature is 37.5 that's what it should be if it goes a lot low you've got problems so the first thing is to watch this body temperature here so let's go and have a look and see if we can mirror the conditions for getting cold and we're going to go to our winter base which is here now immediately if we look at C you will see that the outside temperature is minus 19 now I want to mirror getting freezing I think I might go at the other end I don't want to be jumped on by a wolf when I'm freezing cold. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my clothes off. Now, at the moment, my body temperature is 37.7. Let's just take my clothes off. I would not advise this if you're in a cold northern climate. So we've got a temperature of minus 19. And our body temperature, 37.7. If we take all this off, wow, I don't think I've taken that much off for years. Now, how's our body temperature? 37.6. All right, but if we go outside, right, let's have a look at our trader. It's getting dark and cold. Look, we're out. Oh, we can see the Aurora Borealis, so you can see how far north we are now let's look at our body temperature 37.4 can you see it's gradually going down now a couple of things you should try not to do this is freezing water do not get wet it will make you colder i don't know if i can mirror this here 37.3 can you see that our body temperature is dropping 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 and if you get wet if you go swimming it does make you colder now this is a northern climb we're in march early spring it's minus 19 degrees centigrade now some people like to live in these northern climb climbs now i am going to put my armor on because armor doesn't affect warmth so if i put that on you can see it you can show your healing effectiveness hunger rate walk speed it doesn't make you any warmer 37.1 does that make me warmer no so you can i'm putting my armor on so that i don't get killed hopefully but it doesn't make me any warmer so what happens when you get too cold now right guys let's press c temperature minus 20 degrees my body temperature is 32 now can you see the effect on the screen look at that look look how i'm frosting up and the frostier your screen gets can you see it's starting to shake i'm actually if you can see, I'm, I'm actually starting to shiver and I'm shaking. So at this point, you need to get warm. Now, how do you do that? Get yourself into a building is the best thing to do. And try to light a fire. Have I got any firewood? Probably not. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Let's just light a fire. Get our torches on here. So if we put, all right, now light a fire 
temperature 31 I'm still going down light the fire okay this isn't even a warm room but just standing next to it see my temperature is going up 31.5 31.6 just by standing next to the fire that's the best thing you can do but the other thing of course is if you have clothes put them on or if your clothes are ragged mend them 32.5 32.7 see it's going up from the fire it's going up from the clothes but the fire is the thing that has heated me up quickest all right 33 I'm still cold but I'm a lot better than I was I haven't got the frost round the glass of my screen put the belt back on Put the gloves back on right okay so we are already warmer so that has now added a huge amount 34.4 now what I would like to do is to also show you another thing so first of all light a fire and stand next to it if you've got any clothes at all wear them in a northern climate but I want to show you a room I've made let's just eat Now, I had an old cellar in here, and I've moved my cellar, and I've made myself a warm room. Now, a warm room is somewhere that is no more than seven by seven by seven. It has to be made of whole blocks, and these this is all cobblestone, granite stone, cobblestone, and down here it's limestone rock so it's made of complete rocks and it's got windows in but they have to be full glass blocks they can't be half blocks or half panes so if you make yourself a room like this it will pull your temperature up by a degree and that may not seem much but it's a huge amount make yourself a room you can retire to like this Make sure you've got firewood constantly laid so that if you get cold, you can put your firewood on. And then you've got heat and fire. And if you are living in a mud hut, it doesn't matter. These could be dirt blocks. As long as it's seven, it's no bigger than seven by seven by seven, and they are whole blocks, this will do. And as long as it's got a fire inside, this is the essence of a warm room. So this is my little retreat if I get too cold. And now you can see I'm coming up to 37.1. When you look at your clothes, it will tell you whether you have what amount of heat each gives you. So these knee-high boots will give me a maximum warmth of 1.5 degrees. The trousers will give me a maximum warmth of two degrees. The shirt is two degrees. Sorry, that's the coat is two degrees. The shirt is two degrees. Now, if you add an artisan scarf, or in fact, any scarf, it will give you another one degree. And if you add a hood or a hat, and this one gives me one degree belt will give me well it should give me 0 0.3 degrees and everything helps if you're in a northern climate even this helps and also the commoner gloves will help you so you need to be careful when you're buying clothes if you're in a northern region um, let's get see up now you can see that my hood gives me one degree now look at these hoods that's one degree one degree one degree so they give you about one degree uh, I don't have another scarf there but if we look at the shirts oops let's put it back on this shirt gives me two degrees this shirt two degrees two degrees one degree at maximum now I know the conditions terrible but what it's telling you the lower 
of these figures. The lower figure tells you the maximum warmth you get. So my shirt, the maximum warmth is two degrees. Okay, and then if you look at the boots, my boots are wool lined. They're 1.5. These boots, the maximum is one. These boots, one again. So often when you buy boots and things from traders, um, if you look at the bottom line, the white one, it tells you the maximum warmth you can get. If you look at the top line, it tells you what condition they're in. Mine are worn, and it tells you what they're actually achieving. So this belt should achieve 0.3 degrees, but the condition is terrible. So it's only going to achieve, well, it's not achieving anything. It's 0.0 degrees. The gloves, 0.0 they should give me another half. So you need to look at the condition of what you're buying and also the maximum um, warmth you can achieve. It's much better if you live in the north to invest with one of the uh, supply traders in a pair of wool lined knee high boots because that's 1.5 degrees centigrade whereas these are 0.5. Now to buy most clothes you will need gears. But the other thing is, how do you sort out the condition of your clothes? The answer is linen. And I have to say, never ever let a flaxseed go uncollected. Now I've got five linen here, all right? So if we go up here, and again, this is something that if you're, cope, if you're gonna live in a cold climate, you do need to mend your clothes. Now let's, Press C, I've got five linen. I think the best one to mend here uh, is probably the gloves. If we take the linen and we left click on the gloves, did you see it went from four, sorry, from five down to four? This condition is now worn. It's not terrible anymore. This one is terrible. Left click, it's gone down to three it's now good so that will give me that bit more warmth what else do i need warmth in that's getting low that's low that's two that's fine that's getting low that's nil we need to put another one on there that now gives us one degree that's fine it's still worn and the hood is fine that condition's worn, but it's still giving us one degree. Let's try to mend the shirt. There we go, how much is that? Two degrees, we're up to its maximum warmth. And this one, 1.8. Yeah, this is the best to mend here. Left click, now we're up to 1.5. So you can mend your clothes. But over time, they get tatty. You can't just put your clothes on and then leave it. You have to mend your clothes. Well, guys, the one question you may say is, well, where do I get warmer clothes from? Let me show you. I have found a winter supplies trader. You can see that I've got lots of different traders. And I have such a huge world now that I do use teleporters. And you can see this guy is out on the ice. Um, I'm sliding all over the place. Let's go and see him. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. oh, goodness me. Whoa, it is cold up here. Let's have a look at the temperature. Minus 29. Oh, goodness. Let's take a bit of shelter inside his hut and let's not be here too long right now can you see what he sells he sells knee-high fur boots not just the boots that i have on which are wool lined boots these give a maximum warmth of 1.5 these give a warmth of three and he sells a fur coat that gives four in warmth now i would like to buy these um, he will take 
snow goggles good heavens that means he sells snow goggles um, and the stained leather poncho here but what I want to do is I want to buy one of those and one of those now that's 16 gears I think yeah I've got 39 let me buy those right now I should have both of those which I have um, let us immediately I'm at 37.3 let me take off my uh, boots to pop them in there and these are my knee-high fur boots let's pop those on and then we have the fur coat down here so we want to take the commoner coat off come here pop there and this fur coat we're going to put it on all right and immediately that gives me four degrees of warmth this gives me three degrees so that's quite fantastic now he will sell other things he's got two leather braces he's got all sorts of things but immediately if you look at me my clothes are a lot lot warmer okay let's take my armor off and then you can have a look at looking and see how I look so if I go to see again let's take the armor off F5, now look at me, oops, F5 again, now look at me, I am dressed up in fur, I look like a Russian princess, doesn't that look fantastic? So if you can find one of those traders and you can scrape together enough gears to buy this, this will keep you a lot warmer. So, look for that type of trader. So, that is a few very basic tips and tricks on how to survive the cold. So, just to recap on that. One, if you get cold, well, first of all, try not to get cold. Try and stay inside at night because it's warmer during the day and also don't jump into water and get yourself wet two make sure you have a warm room which is no bigger than seven by seven by seven with blocks and a fire in it light a fire stand by the fire and then as you get further on make sure that you've got clothes on and that if you can mend them mend them so all those tips will help you survive in a cold climate. Hope you find those tips useful. Bye bye.